I don't know about you guys, but this quarantine's actually getting super annoying, okay? For real, like, I need some baseball in my life. So what I've decided for today's video is that we're gonna get Elon Musk, okay, to build 30 MLB stadiums out on Mars, and we're gonna be doing a fantasy draft of all the 30 teams, okay? Let's get this thing going. So in the ELB, Elon League Baseball, we're gonna be playing on Mars pretty much, okay? And basically that means we have to do a full reset of the 30 MLB teams. And this is pretty much that one video on my channel where we do every single time a new MLB The Show game comes out. This kind of concept of restarting the MLB is actually one of the most popular popular things I've done on my channel. The last year we called it the Fantasy Draft Rebuild Challenge. This year I'm putting my own little spin on it. Since it's quarantine time, I figured we might as well make a little bit of a joke out of it because my goodness, it's taken forever. Like, don't get me wrong. I feel bad and I hope that nobody ever, ever gets sick. I hope everybody's staying safe and I hope everybody's actually listening to like the actual officials and crap, but you know. Like I said in the intro, I can only go so many days, so many months, so many weeks without baseball, okay? So basically today we're just gonna be restarting the MLB and seeing where everybody lands. So if you guys like only the show challenge videos like this or like this concept in general, leave a like on the video and subscribe down below. I'd appreciate it. We're getting closer and closer to 31K. We might already be there by now, but still. But if you guys watch my videos quite a bit, be sure to turn your phone like this and go ahead down to that red subscribe button and hit that red subscribe button if you guys are not already. I would appreciate it. And if you guys real quick want to go a step further, be sure to hit that bell notification so you guys will be notified every time I upload. Okay, enough rambling from me. Let's get into this. So the first thing, I don't want to pick a team. Normally I would like actually go in and pick a team, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to just go ahead and leave it up to chance. I'm going to go ahead and close my eyes real quick and cover them, make sure I'm not, you know, peeking or anything. And all I can say is I'm hoping that we get a good team that has quite a bit of money because I'm planning on getting some of the best players in this entire league. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and check and see who I get. Three, two, one. We get the Mets. Okay, they got a decent budget. Let's go, baby. I am definitely down for the Mets. Let's go. All righty. So now that we picked our team, the big thing is going to be us actually getting into the fantasy draft at a decent spot. I'm hoping at least for us in the top 10. If we can get top 10, that is perfectly fine by me. Let's go ahead and check it. Come on. We get... Okay, not even top 15. This is not good. We get 28. Oh my God. Oh no. Also did Aaron, okay, no, no, no. Okay, we're good. But also what? Wait a minute. At first, I thought Aaron Judge actually went first. I mean, I'm glad he didn't, but also he went second. Aaron Judge went second overall above Mike Trout and Cody Bellinger. Like, I get that Aaron Judge is good, but over Mike Trout, Cody Bellinger, and Christian Yelich? Oh, this game is on all the drugs right now. What was that? Also, who the heck are we going to get down here at 28th? Oh my goodness, look at this. I mean, we could get Altuve, you know what I mean? Jesus. Like, legit, if we got in the top 10, we could have gotten people like Tatis. We could have gotten people like Yelich, Acuna Jr., Bregman, Bellinger, like all these guys. But instead, we're down here at 28th getting people like Jose Altuve. Oh my goodness. Only real quick, let me make some lemonade out of these lemons I just got. Let's go ahead and draft Chris Sale first. Perfect. And I will say, the only good thing about us getting 28th in the draft is that we get third in the second round. Okay, that's really about it. And this is where some of the problems could lie. I could either go with a bunch of starting pitches. I could be like pitching dominant, or I could go right now, get people like Eugenio Suarez or maybe John Carlos Stan or people like that, and just go absolutely insane on the offense. I'm thinking right now that we gotta get a batter, and I'm thinking we actually go with Suarez because this dude can hit 50 home runs a year inside of the Shell. I mean, not to mention in real life too. In 2019, this guy was an animal. So you know what, hey, Eugenio, let's go, baby. Welcome to New York, the land of Alex Rodriguez and J-Lo, apparently. But either way, I'm drafting Mad Bum. Let's go. Next up for center field, I'm thinking that we go with George Springer and I get it, he's on the Astros, the whole bang bang situation. I don't care, to be honest. All I know is that in this game, George Springer is such a glitch. So you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and get him. I don't care about no bang bang situation. Doesn't matter. We drafted him in a game. It really doesn't matter about what happened in real life. Either way, next up, I'm thinking that we go a catcher because catching is such an important position. And I really don't see anybody else besides Mitch Garver that I would personally really, really want. So I'm going Mitch Garver real quick, just to have that good catcher. And then next up, like we're just going rapid fire, baby. Like we're just going off right now. I'm thinking that we go again to the offense and I'm wondering if we go shortstop right now. We can get Jorge Polanco. And I know that Jorge Polanco probably isn't a top 10 pick, but like once 2022 comes around, believe me, this guy's gonna be a top pick. So let me go ahead and get him. Just be ahead of everybody else on getting that man. And now we can go ahead and focus on other people besides the third baseman, the shortstop, and the center fielder. Right now I'm thinking that we either go heavy, and I mean super heavy in relief pitching, or we go directly the opposite way and go for more offense. But I mean, with people like Seth Lugo, Ryan Pressey, all these other guys just chilling right here, Dylan Patances, I'm thinking that we might go relief pitching. That actually might be a good thing. So you know 
with Seth Lugo, come on back. Because I already know for a fact, by like round 10, there's going to be everybody getting relief pitchers. So I got to be early. I'm honestly thinking that we go with another one. And I think the guy that we have to go for is probably going to be Ryan Presley, just because he's so freaking good. If I could honestly just have at least two solid guys out of the pen, like Seth Lugo and Ryan Presley, I am so down for that. Look at that. Look. I mean, look at that. Look at round nine. Look at all the relief pitchers that just got selected. That's why I'm glad we got those guys when we did. Because I was about to get sniped for everybody I just had. And now for starting pitching. Now, the problem is I probably should have turned off budgets because my dude, Zach Wheeler, the guy that I personally want, is insanely expensive. And we already have Chris Sale and Madison Bumgarner on our team. Both of these guys are making well over at least $15 million a year. And then I'm going to add Zach Wheeler to that. Like, that's going to be way too expensive for us. But you know what? Hey, screw it. We got to go for it. Zach Wheeler, come on down. Oh, my God. Why did I do that? Why did I actually do that? That's so stupid. We're about to get absolutely railed by the bank. Also, I like how our field is legit called City Field. Like, the City Bank isn't going to absolutely just destroy us from behind. I'm sorry, but like, legit, that's probably going to happen. Like, we're done for. Either way, out in right field, I'm thinking that we either go with Mitch Haniger or Trey Mancini. Normally, in this game, Trey Mancini does a lot better than Mitch Haniger, so I'm going with Trey. Also, big T's and B's to Trey Mancini. That man is going through a struggle right now. So, real quick, just wanted to take a little bit of time to say T's and P's to my man Trey Mancini because it is not good. It's just not good. But either way, moving past that, let's go ahead and get a second baseman. Normally, I would go with Gene Segura right here but the problem is again the man is 14 million dollars that's quite a bit of money for us right now i don't think we can go ahead and do that like i literally don't think we can so i'm going hernandez and now we got to pick our 12th player this is actually quite a bit and we haven't gotten a first baseman yet yeah not the best look but i think we'll be fine like there's still a very very good amount of first baseman right here so you know what let's go with jesus aguilar the reason why is because i feel like he's going to go back to his like 2018 type jesus aguilar where he was hitting 35 home runs so Let's go ahead and go with him. Now we got round 13 and I haven't gotten a closing pitcher yet. So we're going with Nate Jones. Okay. Yikes. We should have gotten that a lot earlier, but it's fine. And also, before it's too late, let's go ahead and get another starting pitcher. I'm thinking that we might go with... Ooh, who do we go with here? God dang. Now, I do want to go with Matthew Boyd right now, but the problem is we already have two other lefties. Do I go with like a lefty dominant rotation? Do I do that? Like, what else do we got down here? I mean, to be honest, there's really not all that much. So you know what? I got to go with a lefty dominant rotation. Let's go Matthew Boyd. And then for left field, I'm going with a super ballsy play. I'm getting Domingo Santana. Okay. The reason why this guy can hit some absolute nukes, I have to hope that he can do it for us. So come on, Domingo. The guy's cheap. He's a good power hitter. Let's just hope that he can actually perform. And now we are finally here. What? Round 15? Round 16. There we go. Okay. We're going to be getting our last starting pitcher. I think we got to go with Mashiro Tanaka. Again, for me, and that will be the show, the guy does pretty good. So I'm hoping that he can continue that and if he doesn't he's probably gonna get cut to be honest so let's go ahead and hope Tanaka the best because my man is gonna get cut if he doesn't perform round 17 we need some more help in the offense I'm going Brian Goodwin this guy's such a glitch so there we go coming up for the next round I'm going with someone else out of the pen and you know what this could actually be really really dumb because I really don't know how good he's gonna do but I'm going Andrew he's a lefty out of the pen we desperately need one right now so you know what Andrew please just don't suck okay and I'm gonna go ahead and get one more guy for the bench and I'll show you guys the rest of the team when we're done 560 59 seconds later. And here we go. I'm going to show you guys the team that we just got, and I'm hoping that it can turn out to be a winner. And also, one more thing that we got to talk about before you guys actually see what we drafted. We got to remember one thing. We got 28th in the draft, which technically isn't horrible, but, but our team's definitely not going to look as good as somebody that was maybe like fifth overall. So just keep that in mind. We're not going to have the absolute best guys, but believe me, there's a lot of glitches on this team. So here we go. Let's check this lineup. There we are, baby. We got Jorge Polanco. We got Hernandez, George Springer, a Eugenio Suarez. We got Tom Ostella, Trey Mancini, Mitch Garver, Domingo Santana, and of course, Jesus Aguilar. On the bench, we got Jason Castro, Hernan Perez, Brian Goodwin, and Chris Taylor. A lot of good glitches there. And then we go ahead and get to the fantastic rotation that we just built. We got Chris Sale, Mad Bum, Zach Wheeler, Matthew Boyd, and then Masha Hero Tanaka. Let's go. And then the bullpen. I'm not entirely sold in this new bullpen, but let's see how it works. I'm hoping that they can do good. I'm going to simulate maybe one or two days, and I want to see what the heck our rank is going to be. We're five days in right now. April Fool's Day. Let's go ahead and see what our MLB rank is going to be. We got first. Are you kidding me? Can someone please explain to me how the heck we just got first? Look at our defense and speed. It is so freaking bad. We got the 27th worst defense and the 30th in speed. So we're the worst possible team ever in speed right now. That is not good. We need like somebody that has good speed off the bench or something. We're going to be screwed. Well, either way, let's go ahead and see how this team is going to be. I'll see you guys around the tread deadline, and I'm hoping that we don't have to do pretty much anything for this team. Yo, there is no possible way this is actually a thing. The Rays just absolutely fleece the Tigers. The Tigers get Max Scherzer back on their team, but in order to 
get Max Scherzer back on their team, they gave up Noah Syndergaard and Yuan Cespedes. Now, the Yuan Cespedes part of that deal, definitely not good, but Noah Syndergaard for Max Scherzer. Like, Max Scherzer is insanely good, but he's 35 years old, and the Tigers gave up a 27-year-old ace for Max Scherzer. That's kind of insane. Okay, either way, let's keep going. And actually, you know what? Today's Home Run Derby, and I want to see who's actually in the Home Run Derby and which teams the players actually ended up on. So real quick, let's take a look. Oh my God, look at this, dude. What the heck? We got Giancarlo Stanton on the Reds. We got Paul DeYoung on the Yankees. We got Josh Bell on the Blue Jays. We got Ryan McMahon on the Yankees. We got Pete Alonzo on the White Sox. We got my guy Austin Meadows on the Brewers. We got Mike Trout. Mike freaking Trout on the Braves. And then Joey Votto on the Rockies. Oh my God. I have to see everybody else. We got Chris Paddock. He's going to be on the Braves as well. The Braves got a super team right now. Granky on the Reds, Kershaw on the Rockies. We got Steven Strasburg on the Dodgers. Will Smith on the Rockies as well. Joey Votto on the Rockies. Dude, what the heck is going on? Yo, stop this. This doesn't even look right. Arenado on the D-backs? Oh my goodness, dude. Oh geez, this looks so weird. Soto on the Cardinals. Oh my God, all the Nats fans are pissed. Every Nationals fan is pissed off. Juan Soto on the Cardinals. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. And real quick, just really, really quick. Can someone explain to me how this even looks somewhat normal? Mike Trout in any other jersey than the Angels just honestly doesn't look right. I'm sorry. And bruh, Cody Bellinger on the Rockies? The Rockies just got themselves a little bit of a super team over there, I see. What the heck is going on? How are they doing? 57 and 39. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. Okay, let's just keep going. And now it's officially the trade deadline of 2020. We're 67 and 41. That is not bad at all. How's the lineup doing actually real quick? Jorge Polanco, that's what I'm talking about. Polanco doing fantastic. Hernandez, definitely not good actually at all. Wow. Springer, how about you? Okay, bringing it back a little bit. I like that. Suarez, very good. La Stella, not bad. Okay. Trey Mancini, I would like that average to go up, but Trey Mancini not doing bad either. Domingo Santana, very good. Jason Castro, not great. I'm guessing Mitch Garver got injured, right? Had to be. Has to be injured. There's no way. Yep, separated shin, did I hear? No, that's a shoulder. Oh my God. Dyslexic. Jesus. I don't think there's any such thing as a shin separation. And you best believe I'm not going to Google it because I'm going to see some images that are going to scar me for life if I look that thing up. And also, I feel like I should probably talk about this. We have the best record in all of baseball right now. We're 67 and 41. Everybody else got like 65 wins. I know it's only two games above everybody else, but hey, only one team can say they're the best in the big leagues. And right now that's us, baby. So let's go. I'll take that W any day. Let's just go ahead and keep going past the trade deadline. Everybody in the rotation, the bullpen did very good. Let's just keep this train trucking, baby. Let's just go ahead and keep this train moving, baby. Let's go. Oh, we're about to win a hundo. There we go, baby. 103 and 59. Oh my God. I guess the pace have one of the best offenses in the entire game, not to mention a fantastic pitching staff. Either way, everybody here did absolutely fantastic. Let's go ahead and check the awards real quick. Who got it? And it's actually only one guy. Let's sell it getting a gold glove. Alrighty. Hey, but we got Meadows winning the MVP. That's what I'm talking about. In real life, I feel like Austin Meadows is super underrated. Like the year that he put in last year is so insane. And yet he doesn't really get talked about all that much. So I feel like this guy is definitely underrated. I'm hoping that the Rays can actually sign him up long term. But that's actually besides the fact. We got Chris Sale right now finishing second in the Cy Young Award. And that's actually pretty much it for the rest of our guys. So let's just go ahead and keep going. It's postseason time right now. Who actually hit the most home runs on the team though? I'm guessing it's going to be probably... God dang. I was going to say Springer, but you know what? Suarez has probably got it, right? Let's see. 32 from Springer. That's not bad, but yep, there we go. Suarez with 37. Okay, maybe that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go ahead and keep this thing going. Let's go ahead and play our first game against really, we don't know yet. So let's see. Let's fast forward to the 30th. We got Miami. Whoa, okay. Either way, game one, Chris Sale versus Jose Barrios. Come on, boys. There we go. Game two, Mad Bum versus Miles. Should be easy. And we actually lost that one to a guy that had a 13.5 ERA. All right, boys, let's just wipe that one from the memory. Zach Wheeler going up against Corey Kluber. This should be a good game right here. And we lost it by one. Story of my life right there. Okay, Chris Sale versus Freddy Peralta. There we go. And then Mad Bum versus Jose Barrios. Won that one. Thank God. Take it on the Brewers now. Okay. Game one. Mad Bum, Joey Lucchesi. Oh, baby. Come on. There we go. Eight nothing too. Jesus, Mad Bum. I keep forgetting. Mad Bum's an insanely good postseason pitcher. He just hasn't been to the postseason in a couple years, so I forgot. But once you get Mad Bum back in the postseason, Jesus, it's over. Wheeler versus Ryu. There we go. Boyd versus Hessman. Okay. Won that one. Perfect. And then Chris Silvers is Chase Anderson. Absolutely beautiful. Now we're taking on either the Rays or the Twins. Oh my God. Please don't let this be the Rays. I'm gonna feel so bad. Thank goodness. Okay, Chris Silvers and Luis Severino should win that one easily. Oh my God. 12-1. Jesus, boys. Okay, keep going. Mad Bum. 
Let's just keep steamrolling them. Let's go. It's three to one right now. We're going in for this one. Let's go, boys, versus Tanner Roark, too, and that is not the best start. Okay, Chris, Chris, relax. Jesus. Four runs in the first inning. Let's answer back, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Three to four. God dang, Chris. What was that? Keep going, and we missed out on a bases-loaded opportunity. Chris, you better win this back, because my God, that was horrible. Come on, guys. Come on. There we go. Hey, Eugenio, coming back a little bit. Perfect. Okay, and Chris Sale just giving him more runs. Yeah, you're gone. Trevor May, get in there versus your old team too. Come on, boys. Bottom of the sixth. Come on, Trevor. Please, please. That's what I'm talking about. Trevor, you beautiful man. Keep going. Come on. Suarez, you're two for three. Please. And that's a strikeout. Okay, Mancini, come on. Or not. Alrighty. Trevor May, good job. Get out of there. Nate Jones, get in there. Okay, perfect. Keep going, boys. It's a tied up game in the bottom of the eighth right now. Please. We're going top nine and it's still tied. All it takes is one swing. Come on, boys, please. Come on, two guys on. Suarez, come on. Or not. Oh, God. Do not walk this off. Please, do not walk this off. Thank God. We got two guys on right now for Domingo Santana. Come on, Domingo. Or not. Alrighty. Come on, Jesus. Or not. Jesus. Oh, God. Don't tell me they're actually going to walk this off. Oh, my goodness. Dude, really? We could not score a single run since the fifth inning. Oh, my God. Either way, we're coming back home. We got Mad Bum on the mound. This should be an easy dub. And if we actually lose this, we're just cursed. Okay? Let's go. Mad Bum, just get in there. Just destroy them all. And then Bregman hits a bomb. Alrighty. Not the greatest start, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay? I'm sure we'll be fine. There we go. Suarez, that's what I'm talking about. Keep going, guys. Come on. There we are. Perfect. 5-1. He's smacking the ball, I believe. Bregman again. What the heck? This dude has got all the signs. But for real, Suarez has even more, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Another solo bomb from him. And it looks like Mad Bum's day is done. The guy's given up five straight singles. So, yep. Goodbye to him. Crossley, go ahead and get in there. And that's the sixth straight single. And they tie the game. Oh, my God. Come on, boys. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Or not. We had bases loaded. No outs. And we completely... Screw that thing up. Oh my God. Come on guys, please. What are we doing here? Presley, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna need like Brian Goodwin or somebody in there. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I added Brian Goodwin to this team. The guy could probably pitch at the top of the ninth and be fine to be honest, but I'm not gonna do that. Let's go. Seth Lugo, get in there. Or freaking not. Alrighty. Two walks and an error. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Great job. Zach Wheeler, please. Ground out, but they tie up the freaking game. And another walk. Are you kidding me? And another walk. Stop walking these guys, please. Is it so hard to throw three strikes? Is that it? Is it just so insanely difficult to do that? Come back, please. I know it's insanely difficult, but come on. I'm gonna need you here. Or not. Okay, we actually have to go to game seven because my dudes could not throw three strikes. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. Let's go. Tanaka, you're getting in there. Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on. Just take the lead early, please and get out of this game. My dude Severino has a seven ERA, okay? He forgot how to pitch. Just take advantage or not. Oh my goodness. It's an actual no hitter through the fifth. Okay, well, it looks like my dude Tanaka is done. And then Lou Trevino gets in there and completely destroys this game. I'm so over this right now. I swear to God, I'm so over this. Guys, get a freaking hit off of Luis Severino. Bro, I've never been so upset at this game. Like legit. I'm not gonna show it because I really never show when I get angry, but bro, when we had a 3-1 lead and we completely choke the last two games to get to 3-3, and then we get one hit to the ninth. Oh, I'm about to blow a fuse. I swear to God. Let's go. Come on. Top nine. Sale. Just please don't suck. Thank you. Boys, seven run comeback. Starts now. Alrighty, let's go. Come on. There we go. Springer, fantastic. Come on, boys. Keep it going or not. We actually lost the World Series because our guys suck royally. Okay? Look at this. An actual 3-1 lead and then our bullpen completely gives it up. Oh my god. I'll see you guys in the free agency of 2020 to 2021, but I'm gonna take a break real quick because my god, that actually made me mad. Like legit, I don't get mad at this game, but that made me mad. Alright, we're back. I still can't believe that happened, by the way. Like, I literally can't believe it, but either way, we're putting it past us. Let's go ahead in here and try to get some very, very good guys for the team. Try to get some upgrades real quick. Let's see what we can get. Also, that picture of DJ LeMahieu is definitely not DJ LeMahieu. Oh my god. Like, the actual player on the left is correct, but what the heck is that picture, bro? What is going on, SDS? Either way, I'm gonna actually try to get DJ LeMahieu. I highly doubt I could get him, but we're gonna try for it. If I get him to be our second baseman over Hernandez, who we had before, I'm down for that, 100%, okay? Let's see what happens. And then right now, is there anybody else that we really need? I would say probably speed, so maybe Billy Hamilton. But the guy only stole 13 bags last year, so I don't know if he's gonna be going down or not. Well, actually, now that I think about it, if I want somebody that's gonna be like insanely good speed-wise, 
I might as well just go ahead and trade for him, so I'm not gonna worry about it right now. And we actually ended up signing LeMahieu. What the heck is that? Oh, we're about to be so broke. Oh God, why did I actually do that? We're gonna be so freaking broke. Well, if I'm the owner of this team, I'm about to be sleeping in the stands because that is not good. We're about to be losing so much money next year. It's kind of disgusting. I actually gotta see, let me sim like a couple days and let me check, come on. How much money are we losing a week? Actually, we're gaining money. What is going on? And never mind, I figured it out. We're not a small market team. The Mets are a gigantic market. It's New York City. So they can definitely make that money back and way more. So I'm not worried about it anymore. We could probably go out and get like three or four more guys. It wouldn't really be a big deal, but either way, let's go ahead and hope that this year we can finally make it back to the World Series and actually win that thing for once because my God, that pissed me off. Let's see what we can do. I'll see you guys back at the trade deadline and let's hope that we don't need to make any moves. And here we go. We're back. Trade deadline of 2021. We're 64 and 47. Again, not bad. We're definitely not the best team in the MLB anymore though, which definitely sucks. I'm pretty sure the Dodgers. Yep. There we go. Oh my God. 77 and 34. Oh Jesus. Okay. But hey, somebody had to take the crown. I get it. Might as well be the Dodgers. They're insane. So whatever. There's really nothing I can do. And there's honestly only one thing that I feel like we actually need to do. That's probably going to be getting a better left fielder. Right now we got Hernan Perez. It's just not working out for him right now. So we might as well just go ahead and get somebody else. I'm thinking that we go out and get somebody that I really don't normally get, but I probably should get a lot more in the future. And that's going to be Framo Reyes. The reason why I should get this guy a lot more is because this guy's a home run hitting machine. I mean, the guy's 6'5 and 275. He was built to hit home runs. Okay, so you know what? Framo Reyes coming over to the Mets. That's a perfect trade to me. So there we go. That's all we really had to do. Let's go ahead and keep this thing going. I'll see you guys like around the start of September, and I'm hoping that we're going to be in a very, very good spot. And I'm hoping that we can at least win the division. That's going to be the biggest thing is I'm not trying to play. No, stupid a wild card game. Okay, let's see what the heck is about to happen. Oh God. Literally one minute later. And there we go. Finish off the year 95 and 67 and we win the division. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. How the heck did everybody else do? The Dodgers won 105 games. Okay, that's gonna suck. The Blue Jays won 103. That's gonna suck. Indians won 98. That's gonna suck. Oh my God. Okay, let's get this thing going. All right, boys, we're facing the Reds first. Oh God. All right, game one, Chris Sell versus Aaron, please. Thank you. Okay, game two, Mad Bum versus Zach Granke. Lost that one by one again. Jesus Christ. Come on. What are we doing here? Game three, Zach Wheeler versus Dustin May. Lost that one again by one. What is happening, dude? And then Matthew Boyd versus Aaron again. Come on. And we lost it by one. Run it back. 2022. This is getting so annoying. 569 seconds later. So in the offseason, we actually didn't do a single thing. I thought we were going to do a lot more than that, but just turned out that we actually didn't get a single person that we wanted, which definitely sucks, but it's not that big of a deal. Well, either way, let's go ahead and get into 2022. I feel like we're going to have another good season. And again, the main point of this entire video is to get us to the World Series and actually win the World Series this time. We got to the World Series in the first season and we ended up losing it. I'm actually trying to get back there and win it this year. So let's see if we could do that. My God. Let's stop choking the postseason, please, Mets. My goodness. I'm gonna have a hernia over here if we can't get this thing done. At July 31st, the trade deadline of 2022, we're 77 and 34. We're the same record of the Dodgers of 2021 when I was saying like, holy crap, they're insane. We're finally that team, that insane team. We're there. We're 77 and 34. Jesus Christ. Okay. I think we go ahead and retake our crown as best in the MLB. Let's go, baby. Let's keep this thing going. Run it up. Let's go. Bro, what the heck is this? 107 and 55. Jesus, Mets. Let's take a look and see how this team did. DJ LeMahieu, absolutely goaded, baby. Domingo Santana, fantastic. Jorge Polanco, fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. Brandon Reyes only had 153 at bats. I'm guessing this man was injured. Had to be. Because he was our starting left fielder the last time I checked. So he definitely got injured really bad. Hey, hey. Daniel Suarez, my God, bro, 38 bombs, Jesus. George Springer, this guy ended up getting hurt as well, but still came back very, very good. Going down below him, Trey Mancini, fantastic, and then Mitch Gar. Okay, well, 50. Six. My God, if we don't win it this year, I don't know what to do. Facing the Dodgers first. Chris Sale and Marcus Stroman, game one. Come on, baby. Lost it by one. Oh my God. Zach Wheeler, Patrick Corbin. Okay, won it by one. Matthew Boyd, Steven Strasburg. Lost it by one. And then Mashiro Tanaka versus Chad Cull. I swear to God. Well... Boys, there are only so many times in life where you can just keep getting rammed from behind before you stand up and say something, okay? We should be World Series bound 10 times over, but the amount of one run losses that we've garnered in the postseason makes me want to literally throw up, okay? Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, leave a like on it, subscribe down below. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Both links are down in the description. Also got a TikTok. If you guys want to follow, it's going to be over there. So just go ahead and, you know, follow that. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. But either way, stay safe. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.